Hello guys from Unbox, welcome back to my channel, please subscribe. Today we are gonna try this beautiful polisher by Parkside on my leather chair. I, I know, this is unusual, this is very unusual, but I wanna try to polish a very soft material with this machine at very low revolutions per minute to see if it works. I already polished this part uh, on the first video in my original language. I'm gonna polish the back and I'm gonna make this video in English for all of you guys to understand what's going on. Obviously, this chair is real leather on the front and fake leather on the back. As usual, they do it like that to uh, put a limit to the cost. But, I mean, let's try. So, we are gonna try it on the synthetic side of leather. So, we are gonna see if it burns the material, if it's easy or not to, um, to use this trigger, which is very progressive. If it is progressive enough not to damage my chair, so you can understand if you can use it on very hard material, very delicate materials, like the paint, the paint job of your car, for example, which you do not want to damage. If I damage this one, I waste 300. If you damage a car, you are done. You destroyed your wick, basically. So, let's try this on the back of my chair. First of all, I'm gonna use this very soft polisher. It's already wet of the um, uh, leather uh, uh, polishing liquid I'm gonna use, which is this one. It's for polishing and cleaning leather. And, well, let's see if it works, okay? Now, let me, give me a second, let me turn around my chair and let's work. Okay guys, here I am. I'm gonna uh, wet my chair with this cleaner. As you can see, it wasn't in great shape, so, you know, let's try to make it beautiful again, okay? I'm gonna go low revolutions, speed one, and I'm just gonna um, spread the material a little bit. Let's go. I will take this one off because I will be working at very low repetitions, so to be honest, I don't think I need the second handle. Okay. okay, so as you can see, I don't want this one to get too hot because it's obviously, you know, a plastic material is fake leather. So I'm gonna go and do the upper part right now and give me a second to move up, to move up my camera. Okay, guys, here I am. Let's go again. Let me try to spread this uh, leather renewal liquid as best as I can. I'm going a little bit all the directions, you know. So I can make it even. Okay, now I'm gonna do the upper part and then I will be back. Okay guys, as you can see, I am going a little bit faster right now. I am giving it, you know, a second pass. Okay. And then we are gonna let it dry. Okay. Now, let's let the situation here dry a little bit. Uh, let me tell you guys, this is very progressive. I want to be honest. Now, the only thing I want to check if 
how much coloration or discoloration there is on the soft well on the wool insert I mean there is not much discoloration as you can see the foam is still pretty clear pretty white so I guess my material uh, didn't get too hot or didn't get damaged even though I was going a little faster with the trigger you know I was going a little deeper but working at low revolutions I could spread the uh, leather uh, renewing liquid the leather cleaner and I didn't damage any part of the fake leather of my chair now this is the back of my chair uh, you can find the video in Italian for the front of it which is real leather and to be honest I am already very satisfied I'm gonna show you in a second uh, passing you know a rug on the material how much beautiful uh, how much more beautiful how much happier does this fake leather look now let's go with the rug okay the rug is here let's pass it around and let's see if we can dry this material a little bit so we can check if it's a little more glossy a little glossier a little cleaner a little more beautiful okay wow okay okay guys let me disconnect the phone so I can show you how beautiful this is look how glossy it looks much glossier of course there are some you know some discolored parts but you know I mean it's seven six or seven years old this chair so to be honest is well kept enough it's now drying in some parts obviously but it looks much much better okay guys so now the chair is completely dry as you can see the leather looks even though it's fake it looks fantastic very even it's not damaged at all it's not cracking it's not scraped it's still beautiful this little tool is very very nice 27 28 euros i don't remember how much i paid it it's under 30 euros it's a fantastic tool i think if i could use it for a very expensive chair like this one in leather and fake leather on low speed and it's still as icy cold as it was when i started so it's icy cold it's not hot at all it's not overheating nothing i used it at very low speed even though i used it for like half an hour on the front end like five minutes totally uh, on the back of my chair i want to say this is a good tool i want to say i'm satisfied I want to check on the battery let me check there's still plenty to go this is a 4 ampere hour battery and I will advise you to buy this one guys go and buy this one this polisher is very nice very progressive and if I could use it for such a soft material like leather and fake leather you can use this one for your moped for your car for your truck for your furniture for anything that needs a little polishing this is perfect again i would never use something like this to grind any material because in my opinion it's not only unuseful but it would be inappropriate like why would i waste such a perfect piece of equipment to take off some paint which i can do with anything else which is more comfortable and you know uh, more reliable than this this one is perfect for polishing that's only my opinion guys if you polish anything with this one and you know what you're doing it's gonna come out perfectly so go buy it 
it's very nice, very progressive, not too heavy, and the grip is fantastic. Okay, 27, 28 euros, the perfect deal. Welcome back to, you know, the reality of this channel, which is basically trying new things every day. If you liked it, just drop a like. If you didn't, well, come back next time. Goodbye from Unboxo.